This year's AFCON tournament has already dished out a lot of surprises. Big countries have already been shocked by the so-called minos in African football. The group matches have produced a lot of unexpected results and the trend is continuing even in the knockout stage. Seven-time champions Egypt were sent packing by the Democratic Republic of Congo and Equatorial Guinea who finished top of Group A ahead of Nigeria and hosts Ivory Coast lost to the unfenced Guinea. The North Africans are the number one ranked team in Africa and are in a respectable 13th place in the FIFA World Rankings. But Bafana Bafana cannot be underestimated despite their current ranking. South Africa are ranked 12th in Africa and occupy 65th spot in the latest FIFA rankings. However, the two teams met in June last year in the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier with Morocco winning the first leg encounter in Rabat 2-1 with South Africa registering a historic win in the second leg match played in Johannesburg. We beat Morocco already one year ago in Johannesburg. We played uh, a very good game. Um, we played our best level. And that means that, um, yeah, that we believe in it, that it's possible to beat Morocco. Morocco's quality is clearly evident with most of their stars playing in Europe. They became the first African country to reach the semi-finals of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar in 2022. Following their second place finish in Group E, Bafana Bafana were forced to move from their original base in Koroho. They are now adjusting to the conditions in San Pedro where Group F winners Morocco have already played three matches. Sfiso Ramara, SABC News.